Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. Boop, boop, that's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys, happy Sunday, everybody. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. I hope it is whatever you wanted it to be, whether it is relaxing or productive or lazy or exciting or whatever you want. I hope that's what it was. Um, it's Sunday, so that means that it's for real. Vacation is over, so I'm going to have to find a way to cope with my feelings, but we will find a way. Listen, it'll be okay. So this past week, as you know, I had my vacation, and on Wednesday, I was finally able to go out and meet one of my very good friends from the Vlogarino Vlog Squad. Um, a little bit of background on it. The Vlogarino, the Vlogarino group, um, on it's on Facebook, and it is for uh, fans and followers of Peter Mon for, on YouTube. And Peter Mon is um, a gentleman from Indiana, from Indianapolis, Indiana. And he has, I believe it's seven channels. He has seven channels covering a range of topics. I have followed him for probably, I'm going to say probably about three or four years. And yeah, probably about three or four years. And a couple years ago, one of the, one of the, the women that I'm very good friends with, that I'm very good friends with now, Carissa, um, she had said, Hey, let's get a, let's do vlogmas. And, um, so anybody who wants to do it can do it. Um, I had, I had started the YouTube channel. I'd signed up for one, but I had just never done anything with it because I was like, what am I going to talk about? So we start, I did the, tw I believe it was 12 days. I did, I posted every day. <clears throat> And then I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to keep up with this. And as you can see, I did. Well, there were, I think in the beginning, there were five of us who started to do it. And then we also added in our six, which is Emily. And so now we are this little subset of, um, of a group. Um, and we, we chat every day in chat. And so it is because of Peter Mon that we are together, but it's because of Carissa saying, hey, let's do, let's, let's vlog that we have this little, this little subset group of the Vlogarino Vlog Squad. And we might actually be um, asking a seventh member to join, which I'm excited about. Um, and so... We are from all different parts of the country. Like, I'm here in Western Pennsylvania. Carissa, Rissa is in Western Pennsylvania. Koe um, lived in Florida. He had now moved to um, Las Vegas. Um, Kristen, who lives in California, she's been there for five years. And she used to live in New York. Um, Bunny who lives in Kentucky, I believe, and Emily, and she lives in Connecticut. So we're, it's just, it's amazing. We're all over the country and we're all like very different individuals, but I'm going to start getting, I'm going to start getting a little, um, a little verklempt, a little verklempt. I'm going to get a little misty eyed right now because we, we're all from different parts of the country. We're different ages. I'm the oldest, of course. But um, we, and we all have different but similar interests. And we all just get together and get along so well. And it's, it's honestly, it's like a group of people that I feel like I've never met them, but I know them. I mean, we share our lives. We share everything that's going on in our personal lives. We talk every day. And to be honest with you, I really honestly don't know what I would do without these people. They are just, they're not even like friends to me. They're more like family. And I'm going to tell you right now, after some of the drama that went down 
this year with my with my family, these people are actually more like my family than some of my family in like some of the people in my immediate immediate family. Like I would much rather call them my family than some of my family members. So um, there, I know that anytime anything is going on, they're always there. So Carissa had met um, Koe, and Koe at the time lived in um, in Florida. And um, Rissa and her her family, Rissa and her son, her son Jordan, Rissa and her husband Jordan, and her adorable, amazing daughter Maddie. They um they were going to Disney World, so to Disney. So they were they decided to meet up with um Koe and his husband Nick, and and she was like, listen, when, during one of our chats, she was our group chat. She was like, or our group phone calls. She was like, listen, I'm gonna call you out, and Deb, we live like in the same state, but we haven't met up. When are we gonna do that? So I was like, listen. We got to do this. So, um, as I said before, we met up in like the middle. So we met up on Wednesday at Hard Rock Cafe. I'm going to share some of those pictures a little bit later on in my other video today. Um, I cannot share. I don't think I can share the video because we went to the Hard Rock and they were blasting a lot of music that I'm pretty sure would be copyrighted. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but she did bring me a gift and I wanted to share it because it was so heartfelt that I was honestly, no surprise, I was crying in the car when she gave it to me. It is just so heartfelt. It's like, it, it just, it, when somebody gives me presents, when anybody gives me presents, the first thing I think of is like, I don't know why I do this, but I get, I get very emotional because I don't know that I feel like I deserve them. So, and this is something that, that, that her, her daughter had included things in it and, and and I can tell that she just put some thought into this. And I, Rissa, if you're watching this, thank you so very much. I know you said I cried. And she said whenever she gets home, she is going to cry too. But listen, I doubt that you're crying as, oh, as much as I am. I just was so, I was so touched by this. So she gave me. A boo box. So here it is. Um, this I promise. This is this is not going to be me for the entire video. Um, so here we go. Now I'm going to put the video in. I'm probably going to put the video in here. So this is this right. Well, I'm not going to put it in there. I'm going to put this first of all. Okay, this right here is from her daughter Maddie. Maddie, I believe, is like five or six. And so look at that. How sweet is that? So Deb and Dolly, there we go. She, she wrote and drew that. That's so sweet. So in the, or I'm going to put the video right here. Look how sweet that is. That's for Maddie and to Deb and Dolly. Jack, look at that little drawing of Jack she made. Oh, I love Maddie. And look at that cute little, look at that sweet little rainbow. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's already on our refrigerator. She drew, it says, to Deb and Dolly, love Maddie. And she wrote all of that. And then she drew, she has the stars and the pink and the orange. And then she drew Jack. And she wrote Jack. She put the little backwards J. I think it's so adorable. And then at the bottom is the little rainbow and Rissa said that she um she wrote love maddie and she sounded it out and i think i just love it so much it's up on her refrigerator right now and my mom dolly loved it dolly was was just so like 
so appreciative and she just, she loved that somebody thought of her and uh, it was just, it was just the sweetest. It was just the absolute, just sweetest. Um, it was just, I, uh, I know I said, I'm not going to be crying anymore, but that was a lie. Obviously straight from pits of hell. That was a lie. I'm going to be crying again. So Maddie, I don't know if you're going to watch us or not, but I, we loved it. Thank you so much. You were such a sweet little girl and your mom is just doing such an amazing job raising such a kind hearted, just, just a kind hearted, smart little girl. Just, you were just the sweetest. Um, she also included this. Now, Rissa wrote that, made with love. And then Maddie wrote, Maddie. And it is a little sun catcher. It's for spooky season. It is a, look at that witch. Look how cute. Look at that. How sweet. And now look. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. She made that all, she colored that all on her own. A little shrinky dink maybe. I love that. I think that is so sweet. It's perfect for spooky season. And next up was this card. This was from Rosa. You do better bats than I could. I could never even, I couldn't draw that bat. I can maybe draw that, but not the bat. Okay. So it's a card. Halloween is in the air. Pretty. Look at all those colors. Typically, like, outside of this season. I'm not a big fan of oranges, but I love that. The oranges and the blues. I love it. So here it says, here we go. It says, I'm going to cry for this. Um, a boo box just for you, a blanket to keep you cozy, a candle to set the vibe, two mugs for you and Dolly, a treat and toy for Jack as he lay by your side. A furry pumpkin just because, and some treats for you too. I hope you love your boo basket as much as I appreciate you. <laughs> and it says, time spent with you is always magical. Thanks for all you do. I hope you enjoy my corny poem. And I, I love it. Like, love Rissa. And there we go. Oh, yep, there we go. The tears, they're coming down again. So, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. So, you didn't need to see that. I had to blow my nose. And that would not have been something I wanted to do on camera. So, let's show you everything that is in here because I love it all. Now, I'm going to tell you this little story. The peeps, okay? So, the peeps, the ghost. Um, I just... Me and Rissa have this thing where um, she, I love peeps. She hates them. Um, she loves candy corn. I hate them. But listen, she did this. She did this absolutely right because the peeps are fresh. That you can either have them fresh or stale. I hate them stale. So she actually remembered that, and she got the she got the ghost peeps. They're, they're fresh. They're soft and fresh. And she, she was perfect. She's perfect. She got the perfect one. So got the peeps. Let me know in the comments. Do you love peeps? And if not, why wouldn't you? Okay. Also on the sweet treats, she had gotten this. Look at that. That's a perfect, that's a pretzel rod and it's coated in milk chocolate with, look at those, with ghosts and pumpkins and bats. This, she said, is from Janoski's. Janoski's farm is in Clinton, PA, and it's pretty far from me. I don't know how far it is from that for them, but they always have, like, a, they have a pumpkin patch. They have all kind of goodies you can buy, and this is also from, it says, candy from the kitchen. This was also from Janoski's. Look at that. Oh, it's a haunted house with the ghost. This was also from Janoski's. Mmm, I love chocolate, especially milk chocolate. Okay, now for Jack, look how sweet. Look at that. It's for Jack. It's a candy corn. 
She loves her candy corn. And if Jack could eat it, he probably would. The candy corn. So there we go. I love it. Jack loves it. Also for Jack is, this was from Janoski's also. It is a bacon and egg bone. There we go. He, I'll break this up. I told her, I said, I'm going to have to break it up because if I don't, he's going to take this. He's going to carry it around. He's going to treat it like it's a toy or a friend. And he will get real flat to the floor. And then he will crawl under the couch and hide this. And then he will like hoard it. So I'm going to have to break this up so he can like actually eat it and not hoard it as, as like a friend. Protect it like it's a friend. Okay, next up, look at this. This is, it feels like it's almost like a chenille pumpkin. Oh, I love it. I love the, I love pumpkins. I love everything pumpkin. And my favorite color is blue. This is a gorgeous color of blue. Like, I know she wasn't like, let me try and find the highest end color of blue. But this is beautiful. I'm going to absolutely put this in and use this as a decoration. This is gorgeous. Jack heard it. And he's now... And he's looking like, what is it? Well, I'm going to have to cut this stuff off before you play with it, buddy. Buddy. Oh, look, at, look at that, Jack. He's looking like, what is it? Okay. So next up, we have this candle. This is from Walmart. And listen, I think this is, I think the outside, they did, it's a beautiful candle on the outside. It has the tartan has the um, black and purple and, and orange. Once again, any other time of the year, I don't know that I would like that, but it's, it, it is, the aesthetic outside is so, is adorable. It's um, cranberry mandarin. Look, it has the, um, pump, or the pumpkins. It has the ghost. It has the bats. I'm not a fan of bats, but bats, you know, drawn like this, adorable. And let me tell you, it's a three wick. Oh my God, that smells. Mmm, that smells amazing. This right here, this is going downstairs in my office and I'm going to burn it tomorrow. Mmm. Oh, I love that smell. I love that smell. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to burn it downstairs because... Dolly's not a big fan of burning candles because she thinks that I'm going to forget about it and then burn the house down. That's never going to happen, but okay. So I love that. I love that candle. The next thing that she got was these two mugs. Look at this. Hello, fall. And then one with little um, trees on it. I have to tell you, she got these for me and Dolly because she said she thought they would be perfect for soup which they are. We we have actually already used them for coffee and for soup and they are perfect. Perfect. I think actually I'm going to have my coffee in this tonight for my um for my recap video, my reset video. So love those. Dolly loves them. And and Dolly loves soup. So anytime we get anything that you can put soup in, she loves. And lastly is and this blanket, let me tell you, oh, it is so soft. I think this is from, this is one of the blankets from um, Walmart. Listen, you cannot go wrong with these blankets from Walmart. If you want something that's not super big, but is affordable and very, it is so soft. You cannot go wrong with Walmart. This, look at the pattern, the different colors, like the burgundy, the light pink, the green, the orange, the white, I love it. I absolutely love it. And this whole entire thing right here, this crate, definitely I'm going to be using it for some kind of storage because it's perfect, because it's perfect for some kind of storage. And I need some kind of storage. So that is everything. That is my unboxing of the Boo Box. Carissa, Rissa, if you are watching, you absolutely did not have to do this. She showed up with this and I showed up with absolutely nothing. And I was like, oh no. But 
I'm gonna tell you, meeting meeting you, Rissa, was just like the. It was one of the best days. Like it was, you know, when you meet somebody and you feel like you have known them for like ever. And when you meet, you're just like picking up in the middle of a conversation that has just never stopped. That is how, that is how I felt meeting, uh, meeting, meeting Rissa, meeting Rissa. It was just, it was just perfection. It was just a great day. And hopefully we can get together and do this every so often. Um, I mean, we don't live that far away. So we're going to really try and get together like every other month and do something um, because it's just such a great friendship that I really do cherish. And I thank you. I thank you so much for everything. Everything that you've just, that you've, the friendship that you've given to me, but also for this boo box. It was amazing. It's amazing. Um, and thank you, Maddie. If you're watching this, you were just such a special, amazing little girl. And, you know, listen, Carissa, you're doing something right because she's going to grow up to just change the world. I mean, she's just the greatest little girl. Um, and your family is just, I love it. Um, so with that being said, that was my boo box and I'm going to head off now and do a few things to get ready for today's football Sunday make some Reuben dip and a crock pot and get some other stuff done on this productive Sunday. So um, if nobody told you yet today, I love you. You are loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there and understanding. Please take care of one another. Please, no matter where you're at, please, number one, be aware of your surroundings. And number two, please be safe. And I will see you a little bit later for a weekly review and reset a little bit later. So everybody have a great day and I love you guys. Bye guys.